Hi classmates, it's me, Mikeen, and this time, let us visualize percent and its relationship to fractions and decimals. By the way, it will be really helpful if you're already familiar with the concepts of fractions and decimals. If not, then don't worry because I'm gonna leave some links in our description box. You can review them first. Anyway, just an important reminder for everyone. If you can dream it, you can do it. And if you see ads, please, please don't skip it. <laughs> Ready? Tara, perfectly natin yung math mismo. Percent came from two words, per and cent. So when you say per, it means for every. And when you say cent, it means 100. Therefore, percent means for every 100. So, for example, we say 30%. It means 30 for every 100. If we say 50%, it means 50 for every 100. And likewise, if we say 75%, therefore, it means 75 for every 100. So, let us look at this box. Okay, if you will look at this, it's a 10 by 10 grid meaning we have 100 squares in all so if we say 30 percent or 30 for every 100 it means we have to shade 30 out of the 100 boxes so let us try to do that so this part or the shaded part means 30 percent now for example we are asked to shade 50 percent so, of course, what we will do is shade 50 for every 100 boxes. So, let's just add. Now, let's say you're asked to shade or show 75%. So, since we already have 50% shaded here, then we just have to add another 25 This one now shows 75% or 75 shaded boxes for every 100 boxes. Clear? Now let us have a look at these three figures. So these are the examples that I have shown you a while ago. So we have here 30% for this one. We also have 50% and 75%. Now let us look at this example closely. How many boxes are shaded? Mm -hmm. It's 30 boxes. So we can write here 30. And how many boxes are there in all? There are 100. So as you can see, I have now written this in fraction form. Therefore, we can say 30% is just the same as 30 over 100. So that is how we write percent into fraction. Okay, now let's have another example. Here, we have 50%. So let us look at this second figure. Now remember, the numerator stands for the shaded part. So how many um, shaded parts are here? How many boxes? Yes, we have 50 boxes. And how many boxes do we have in all? Mm -hmm, 100. So therefore, we can now say that 50% is just the same as 50 over 100. Do you notice any patterns now? Mm -hmm. Let's see if you're correct. Now let's look at the third example. So we have 75% or we have 75 colored boxes out of 100 boxes in all. So do you guys see the pattern that I, that I was saying a while ago? Mm -hmm. So to write percent to fraction or to convert a percentage to fraction, all we have to do is remove the percent sign and write it as over 100. So as you can see here, 30% is just 30 over 100. 50% is just 50 over 100. And 75% is just 75 over 100. So for example, guys, I have 8%. So how are we supposed to write this in fraction form without drawing? 
Mm -hmm. So let's just write 8 over 100. That's correct. How about if I have 92%? Okay, so that is just 92 out of 100. Because guys, take note, percent, okay, is just a fraction over 100. Classmates, don't skip ads. Thank you. Now this time, let us try to reverse it. So from fraction, let us try to write it as a percentage. So for example, I have 27 over 100. So do you know how to write it in percent? Mm -hmm. We will just use the numerator and add our percent sign. Just like that. How about 15 over 100? So it's just 15 percent. Good. Now how about 9 over 100? So it's just 9 percent. Is that clear? Now this time, we will go to decimals. But before that, let me just copy this. And let's have another column for our decimals. Here. So guys, do you still remember how to change fractions to decimals? Mm -hmm. So all we have to do is read the fraction. So here we have 27 over 100 or simply 2700. So let's just write it as 27 hundreds. How about 15 over 100? So that is just 15 hundreds or 0 0.15. And how about 9 over 100? So that is 9 hundreds or 0 0.09. Now let us have our percent column. Do you notice any patterns on how to change decimal to percent? Mm -hmm. Notice we just move the decimal point two places to the right and attach the percent sign. And that is already our percent. So, 0 0.27 is just 1, 2, 27%. Same, 15 hundreds or 0 0.15 is just the same as 15%. And similarly, 9 hundreds or 0 0.09 is just 9%. So, this time, let us try to write from percent to fraction. And from percent to decimal. So again, here we have 93%. So remember, to change that to fraction, all we have to do is write 93 over 100. And that's it. How about 11%? So that is just 11 over 100. No sweat, right? <laughs> How about 4%? So that is just 4 over 100. Did you get the same answers too? Great. Now this time, let us try changing from percent to decimal. So all we have to do, guys, take note, a while ago we moved to the right. Okay, two decimal places to the right because we are changing from decimal to percent. But if we will change from percent to decimal, then we have to move two places to the left. So therefore, 93% is now 0 0.93 or 93 hundredths. How about 11%? So we will just move this two decimal places to its left or it's now 0 0.11 or we can also read it as 11 hundredths. No problem with that. How about 4%? So when it comes to 4%, okay, we have to move it, move it twice. So once, then twice. Then this is your decimal point. So therefore, that is 0. Point, take note, include another 0 here, okay, and 4. So therefore, this is now 4 hundredths. So remember, percent means for each or for every 100. Also, percent is just a fraction over 100. So if we have 43%, we can just rewrite it as 43 over 100. 
And finally, to change percent to decimal, all we have to do is move the decimal point two places to the left. So again, if we have 43%, then all we have to do is move it two times to the left. That's 1 and 2. Therefore, our decimal is 0 0.43 or 43 hundredths. Try it! We write 17% as a fraction and as a decimal. If you know the correct answer, comment down below. I hope you learned a lot from our topic today. Again, this is your classmate Mike in saying, add love, subtract hate, hit like, and subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Bye!